Hello and welcome to the Old Quarry Wood Shop. I'm going to show you how to transform this old writing slope into a nice jewellery box. These haven't much use anymore, so and it's well battered. There's some of the um, marquetry missing there. Uh, it's in very poor condition. Um, but we'll see what we can do. I'll take off all the hardware. All the bits inside the box that I don't need. And now I'm using an iron to take off all the edging strip. I plan to use these after the box is cut down. But what didn't click with me was there isn't any strip on the on the back of the box, on the back edge. And uh, so I continue to save these pieces ready to put back. With these old boxes and old furniture, they used um, animal type glue or high glue. And... Um, under heat this becomes soft again so this is why it's it's easy to uh, to get this edging off and any other veneer that's on there and using a wet towel or a wet cloth um, makes the heat um, penetrate more, more quickly now this is where I'm cutting the slope off I hasten to add this in my new bandsaw and it's, I've set it up and it's perfectly square and it's, it's a great tool. It's a record Sabre 350. And I'd recommend it. Cutting through like butter. This is the top piece. As you can see, these the slopes are off. And the two pieces fit together perfectly. That saw is so square, not a gap anywhere, doesn't need planing or machining, anything. On the marquetry, I was thinking that the, the pieces that I cut off, I could use the marquetry on that to replace the missing pieces on the lid. Be 
before I put the edging back on and fit in the lock. Tape on the drill measures how deep it needs to be. So I drilled the holes and now I'm just squaring it all up with a chisel. Trying to work out which piece goes where and then suddenly realizing this is not going to work actually some of the edge is missing off even this these smaller pieces so i tried to find i do have small pieces of veneer so i'm trying to find one that's quite close It's easy to put masking tape on first, it will stop the veneer from splitting when you cut it. The strips are oversized because it's easy enough to trim them down when it's all dried. Because the strips wasn't long enough, I, uh, I decided to join them in the middle rather than a little piece on the end. You can never have too many clamps. So trying the jigsaw and thinking, no, this isn't going to work. I could be there for six months trying to sort that out. So I put um, some pieces of Zebrano, which looked pretty good, but then the wood on the top was split and damaged. And so I decided to change that as well. Just trim down with a knife. And then we've got we've got to match the colour. So uh, Look in the cupboard, see what I've got. It's not a bad match. as you can see from 
the hardware. It's all been polished up. This is the new veneer on the top. And it doesn't look too bad. I darkened uh, the box as well, so yeah, it's not it's not a bad match. I was quite pleased with that, choosing the right veneer. Now I use some Osmo. It is satin, so uh, you need, that was fresh on, and that's why it's glossy. But it, it will dull down a little bit. So this will make it hard wearing. I could I could have French polished it, but um, um, I didn't think this box needed it. It will be handled quite a lot, I think. And there's a tip, if you're going to use a brush uh, more than once, put it in a sealed bag and you won't have to clean it out. It'll be uh, soft within a day. You've got to use it within a day. I'm lining the box. Um, if, you, if you want to see how I line, line boxes, I do have another video. And that's it all lined, lids on. And do you remember the the old drawers that were in there from the beginning? Here they are. These are the old drawers. I've decided to to leave those in. And. Uh, Put new little knobs on, darken them up. And because I had the the ledge on the side, I decided to make other compartments that fitted on the top of there, just to give you more more areas to put smaller items and then you have the completed box